Everything you need to know if you're considering staying at the Summit Lodge in Whistler, Canada. I'm Chris, this is the Spunky Princess, and we're gonna show you around this room, the common areas of the hotel, and the neighborhood around the hotel, the village of Whistler. All right, let's go. The Summit Lodge is a four-story hotel located in Whistler's main village, just a couple blocks from the Olympic Plaza. From here to get to the Whistler gondola, it's about a 20-minute walk, and that's really the main part of the Whistler main village, so this is a little bit out of the hustle and bustle, though there is plenty to do, see, and eat around the Olympic Plaza as well. Plenty of coffee shops, grocery stores. You won't be bored or hungry around this hotel either. As you go into the front doors of the hotel, you come into the lobby and the lobby is kind of an interesting funky modern space check-in desk there on the back no concierge and so they got this little thing with a bunch of little pamphlet handouts just in the back is the hotel spa beyond that is the hot tub and the swimming pool that are outside there is no gym there is a restaurant called elements but it's next to the hotel and wasn't open for dinner for some reason while we were here self parking is available underneath the hotel for $21 a day which is also where you're gonna find the ice machine in the garage right by the parking garage elevator. The guest room floors are bright and cheerful, though a bit uninspiring. This is room 318, a king room on the third floor. Come on in, we are going to show you around. As we come in this room, let's start with the back right here because there's something on the bed. Spunky Princess, what do we see right back here? What's back here? Come take a look at this. Come closer, come take a look at this. This is a stuffed handmade monster made in Canada. So you know this is a kid-friendly hotel. All right, Spunky Prince is gonna enjoy that. There's one king bed that you see up here. Looking out this window at night, it's really dark. But in the daytime, you can see the swimming pool from the hotel in the back, and I think a few other hotels in that direction. And just next to that window is a quite tiny balcony. Now coming back into the room, let's swing around. Just up here to the left, flat panel television and a fireplace here on the wall. There's an iPad over there. There's a bed. This turns into a sofa bed, as a matter of fact. We'll have to move this table a little later to bring that out. There is a table for two over here. And now let me show you in this closet. So in the closet here, it's a really interesting box. This box says one less thing. And it says overpack, leave it in this box and they'll donate it to charity if you don't want to bring it back with you. It's the first time I've ever seen a box like that in a hotel room. Underneath, just an empty drawer. All right, there's a little bit of a kitchen over here, which is kind of nice. There's a big fridge down here at the bottom. Anything in it? No, it's a empty fridge. Uh, up here, there's plates, bowls, mixing bowl, uh, mugs, glasses. There's even a toaster and a tea kettle up here. And there's a sink and a uh, kitchen top. And then underneath, that's where you'll find trash and uh, things like uh, kitchen soap. All right. Final room, bathroom. Now for how big the rest of the room is, the bathroom actually quite small, though there is a bit of counter space. There's a toilet and then just behind the door is the bathtub with a handheld shower and three soaps that are on the wall. And you know what the spunky princess found in the bathroom? What'd you find? A little duck. For those of you who watch my hotel reviews regularly, you'll know it is now time for the hotel review where I rate hotels on the scale of one to five Topers. And so how many Topers is this hotel gonna get? It's gonna get three and a half Topers. That's right. Now why three and a half Topers? Let me talk to you about the pros and the cons of this hotel. Some things I like, some things I didn't like. First, pros. The location, super great. By the way, Chris, you're not in the hotel anymore. I am not. I am on the Whistler Village Stroll. This is just one block from the hotel, so it's like 50 feet or 20 meters or something just over that way. I thought this was a cooler backdrop. You can see some people kind of walking back and forth, but the fact that it's right here in the middle of the village, there's all these coffee shops and restaurants right out the door is pretty nice. Uh, the self-parking, $21. That's pretty inexpensive too, to park in the center of this village. The room rate was reasonable, though we're here in the summer, $250 
Canadian, so not too expensive. The room was nice. Um, it was recently, the hotel's been recently renovated. It's clear it was something else before. We'll get to that in a moment. The front desk staff was polite. Um, everything seemed clean, and I liked that the sofa turned into a sofa bed. So if you got a bunch of people staying in the room, you can put four people in the king size room. And the final pro is we slept pretty good in the room. I have to say it was a good sleeping room. The air conditioner worked well, cooled it down. The windows open, which is pretty nice. It's also nice to have that little balcony there too. Uh, all right, cons. The first con is that this clearly was a different hotel that was renovated. So it makes some of the things like old school small, like the bathroom, super small. The fact that the toilet is a round toilet and not elongated, I'm like, come on, let's get with the times already. Elongated toilet. And you can see the older parts of the hotel, like looking up from the toilet in the bathroom, you can see this is this is not new. This has been here for a long time. Kind of rusty, kind of crackly. So it was it wasn't a fantastic remodel. It was just let's put some lipstick on it and make it look a little bit nicer. The ice that was in the parking garage, also kind of weird. I'm sure this hotel didn't used to have ice before. Now they do, and so that's where they put it. The room, while nice for the king size bed and the sofa bed, just kind of small. By the time you pull that sofa bed out, by the time you have the king size bed, there's just not much left to open your luggage and walk around anymore. Uh, they're currently not doing housekeeping. They only do housekeeping on the fourth night that you're staying there, which is pretty lame to like not even get new towels and things like that in the room. I get that it's COVID times, but hotels really need to get with the program and get the daily housekeeping back again. Of course, now the real question is, would we stay here again? Should you stay here? Well, you know, the price was right. It wasn't too expensive. It's also summer. That's probably what makes it $250 Canadian. In the winter, it's probably a lot more. So um, just know that like the advertising ad advertises this hotel as a boutique luxury hotel. It's like one of the top hotels on TripAdvisor in Whistler. It's not all that. It's just not all that. It's a three tofer hotel that gets an extra half tofer for the location in the center of the village. So going in expecting that, then that is what ye shall receive. All right, well, fellow explorers, if you're coming to Whistler, you might enjoy checking out more of my videos on Whistler. You might also enjoy my review of the Fairmont Whistler, which is kind of like one of the best luxury hotels in Whistler. You can check that out right here, as long as all my other Whistler videos. You'll also find a link in the description below. And as usual, I won't say goodbye because I'm going to see you in those videos. Bye.